So the last time I talked about the PS5 or the Xbox Series X, the next-gen consoles, I talked about how it might be a better purchase than the PC in 2020. Uh, and in this video, this video is going to be a bit more targeted at PC gamers. I'm going to talk about some things that I think these next-gen consoles will have that will be carrying over to PC games and P will be something that PC gamers really enjoy. Like, what are the impacts of these next-gen consoles and their brand spanking new features? Now, before I start this video, if you have any questions you want to ask or you just want to chat or argue with me, you can do it in my Discord or my on my Instagram, all linked in the description, or you can just do it in the comments. I reply to everything everywhere. Now, let's get on with it. So, first off, it's got to be the introduction of fast, blazing fast SSDs on the consoles. Uh, game developers base a lot of their development of games that, you know, what the game can do on what consoles can do because you're only as fast as your slowest man and frankly for the last eight years, nine years, the slowest thing on the market when it comes to gaming performance was kind of like the PS4 and the Xbox One. And um, when you're developing a game for multiple platforms, you really can't just go balls to the walls because RTX 3090 PCs can run it. You need to weigh all the options you need to make sure that all the systems you're selling it on can run the said game to the said performance metrics that whatever manufacturers or whatever customers want so yeah but basically these fast next gen ssds being featured on the ps5 and the xbox series x especially the ps5 one which has a very unique ssd design which i don't really know how to explain i'm going to link a video down in the description that might be able to explain it better but basically these fast blazing fast ssds are probably going to be able to open up to game developers a new kind of field of uses and potential performance. So usually a game to run on a computer, it has to store its assets and files on the RAM. But with a very fast SSD, with these crazy fast SSDs, especially with it becoming more and more mainstream, uh, games might be able to say store some of these assets and files on the SSD instead of the RAM, which means less RAM intensive task and also which means they can have more assets, more files ready for the game to access, for ready for the CPU, whatever, to be, ran, to be run. And that means more interesting detail, more expensive titles, which I think sounds really exciting. Now, this is all speculation, and this is based on speculation from other people as well. Uh, but if it does happen, I think this technology will likely make it to PCs very quickly, and the impacts of these are probably going to be like, hey, if you want to play this game at full performance and get the most out of it, you're probably going to start needing to upgrade your SSDs. But it's probably going to take three or four years at least before this kind of technology even shows up in better form. So don't worry about upgrading your SSDs just yet. But I'm sure that when such games start appearing, I think SSDs demand is going to skyrocket and shortages are going to start appearing, assuming that the technology is done well. The second thing that consoles have that I think will make it to PCs is, well, the adaptable, adaptive tactile feedback you find on the PS5. So everyone's seen those videos about the new PS5 controller. It changes depending on the game you are playing. That looks awesome. looks really exciting. I really want that in my life. Uh, and that's why I kind of really want a PS5. But I think that kind of tactile feedback is actually going to probably make its way into PCs to make things more immersive, at least. Not for competitive shooters or MOBAs and stuff like that, but for things like immersive games, story, single-player games, such kind of peripherals might start to appear on the market, which might be kind of interesting for PC gamers. Can you imagine a gaming mouse that vibrates differently depending on the power level of your weapon? Or maybe you have a keyboard that kind of shines different colors of light and vibrates in different areas depending on which direction you're getting damage from. Headphones that have kind of pressure points on your head that, you know, it vibrates, it presses your head in like weird areas to mimic maybe getting shot or explosions or stuff like that. That would be so cool on PC games, especially because PC games can hit 4K resolution and crazy high settings and be super, super immersive with VR and things like that. With these kind of tactile kind of adaptive tactile feedback on PC peripherals, I think there's a lot of potential there. It just needs to be worked, like the right recipe needs to be worked out. It needs to be implemented well because implemented implementation is everything with such devices. Uh, and I think though, if it's done well by a big company like Razer or Logitech, 
probably might become more and more mainstream and that would be exciting because you know vibrating mice and keyboards probably exist already it's just it's just kind of crappy because there's no support and it's probably poorly done right now but with this adaptive technology be capturing everyone's attention and imagination on the ps5 i think more and more pc peripheral manufacturers will start trying to do this on their own stuff just so that game developers, you know, they can kind of work with game developers so that your mouse vibrates and stuff. It's possible, and if it does happen, awesome. Speculation though. The next thing that I think the new next generation consoles will bring to the table for PC gamers is value. Now, even if you don't want to buy a console, I think the value that the PS5 and Xbox Series X provides, especially compared to when PS4 came out, that value that it provided was kind of crap. This PS5 and Xbox Series X release it brings a lot of value to the table. You're getting 4K 30, 4K 60 uh, frames kind of capable gaming machines for a few hundred bucks. This is going to put a lot of fire under NVIDIA's and AMD's asses, Intel as well, but Intel needs to figure out a bunch of things before they can really compete anymore. But basically, it's going to just put a whole fire under the PC industry, and that means, you know, computer parts gonna need to come down in price or become more aggressive and with AMD and Nvidia competing and stuff like that I think it's gonna be excellent year next couple of years it's gonna be pretty excellent for PC gamers we're gonna see a lot of performance increases in gaming PC parts partly in due partly because consoles are making 4k gaming very accessible and we might finally be able to get that promise of 4k gaming that we've been so promised for years and years now finally 4K gaming might become accessible to the masses. But who knows? I still run a 1440p monitor, so mm. subscribe by the way if you want to watch my Prism F270i Pro monitor review. It's going to be very in depth, it's going to take weeks to make, but hopefully that video will be interesting to you. So subscribe for that. Okay, so I think that's about it when it comes to the speculation that I can make. Yes, of course, everything that I've said is speculation, but I personally think that a lot of these things that the consoles are bringing to the table with these new generation of parts and features, they are going to actually really affect the PC gaming world. And if it affects it in a very positive way, I think it's win-win-win all around for everyone. So that's good. But once again, it's all speculation. What do you think? Do you... Do you agree disagree do you have any other sort of speculation tell me in the comments or on discord you know and if you enjoyed the video found it helpful you know the usual thing like like and subscribe greatly appreciate it i was i'm gonna start daily uploading or something and i've been grinding this channel all day every day so it's been very tough but it, this channel isn't doing well at all so i would appreciate the help anyway though thanks you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time goodbye